hadith is the supporting on each verse in the Quran. Right. You wouldn't be a Muslim if mm. five, five, praying, five, five, praying, praying five times a day is being a Muslim. You wouldn't be Muslim for the five days. Right. Okay, let me continue, please. We wouldn't follow the Prophet Muhammad. So now exactly. we're going to ask him out. Because that's the so example. In, in, right. in the way exactly. of Prophet Muhammad. That's all I was trying to express. But that's what he said. That. That's why he was saying <coughs> you're not listening. That's what he said. Now, the most important thing is, please, let me continue. We got it. Okay. There's something very important you need to know. When you try to get your, when you try to get your answer, when you try to get your answer from a Google, Please do not trust Google. Because a lot of people are trying to get, okay, I have a question about Islam, let me go to Google. Okay, do not do that. Because there's a lot of non-Muslims no. who are being making websites, they're changing our words and they're changing everything. Do not rely that until you're faced to with a real scholar to verify the information. I get so many emails, they send me hadith. Mm -hmm. They send me a lot of things in the email. My Emails are being bombarded with emails and emails from everywhere. People asking to verify the information. When they go to local imam, they hear something else. But when, when they try to, because it's all about trust. When they go to some scholar who belongs to some sect, they don't trust them. When they ask me, what do I believe? I say that, okay, I believe on Muhammad, I mean, the Quran and the Sunnah, the pure Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, now, now this is what you have to understand, brothers, please. Now, brother, let me let me try to give you like a very important information. So, so do not rely on the sources of Google. They are not 100 percent correct. Right. They are all like fabricated and corrupted materials. Even a lot of non-Muslims they are trying to put the corrupt Quran, which is changing everything in the Quran, and they are even making a website of Quran so people can read it. First of all, you need to verify the website is correct by the Muslim. You have to verify that. Because you might be reading something which is not even a Quran, they might be changing. They might have some some parts of the Quran, and they will add few words in there. Astaghfirullah, you like a, you are disrespecting the Quran because you you don't verify because the sin goes to you. <laughs> you don't even verify who this website belongs to. They might say Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, starting from the top. I went through uh, because just few days before I received an email with a list of long list of like a non-Islam. Uh, non-Muslim who made the website. They were located in Europe, Germany, in Russia, and uh, some Israel. Mm -hmm. They made from them because I know how to get, uh, how to trace these websites to understand who are being behind this. When I got, I said, these are not even Muslims. Who are these people? So they're trying to run their business and they're trying to drive the traffic. So they're making money on that. So you need to have a education about the classifications of ahadith. This is something a common Muslim does not understand that. They don't understand because if somebody says this is the Prophet Sallallahu said, maybe a common Muslim say, okay, I'm gonna start doing this. You're gonna be start doing this because if you have a knowledge, you're gonna go verify if this, the, the scholar is telling you to, uh, this, to follow this hadith, this is the Prophet Sallallahu said, it is your duty to verify. I'm not asking you to sit there to believe me what I'm telling you. I'm asking what I'm telling you, you go verify. What I'm saying here, I'm only saying you from the Quran and Sahih that, That's it, that's what my kidda is. I'm pure teachings. I don't, I don't follow anything else. 